be some misunderstanding. No, it was a mistake. I didn't do it. I promise. No. You were late. Must be some misunderstanding. I didn't do that. Yeah, somebody wants to take back some shit that they said here. Somebody's like, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> I feel like phone numbers aren't adding up. Messages aren't adding up. I feel like investigators. So somebody that was watching somebody is like, wait a minute. Hold on a second. But you said you were here. Somebody's shit. This goes with the message the other day that somebody's shit's not adding up. Yeah, somebody's shit is not adding up. Come through for us, please. Protect everyone who deserves spiritual protection. Thank you. What do we need to know? Why is this? A, why is somebody saying it must be a misunderstanding? What is the message for it must be a misunderstanding? <laughs> it must be a mistake. There must be some kind of mistake. Okay. Bully. So I don't know if somebody's being seen as just like a low down bully. Somebody could have been like, it was a mistake. It was an understanding. I didn't mean to put my hands on her or him or whatever. But I feel like somebody's like, uh, it was a misunderstanding. There's a fight here. There's something that happened with a bully. All right. Somebody wants to, uh, there's no take backsies. I just heard. There's no take backsies. Okay. Somebody's ready. Somebody blew up though. Look at that. Yeah, right. Blow up, blow up what, you guys? These nuts. This is the kind of person who every time they're caught or they're seen as a punk or a bully or a womanizer or a, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. It's like, I, 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 ugh, I can't stand these types of people. Every time they get accused of it, it's like, no, no, it's because this happened and that. I feel like there's something they can't get out of now. Maybe the cops are involved. But I feel like there's uh you can deal with a Libra. Or Libra, this is for you. Oh, hold on. Well, 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 look. I feel like somebody's like, no, 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 no. It's because, you know, this happened first. Like, you guys don't know that this happened. Or there's just something, you know, ugh, God. This could also be a situation where there, someone is a bully in a relationship. And then it's like, come on, I love you. And then it's like the next morning, it's like they wake up miserable. You know, this is like, did you guys ever see that movie, The Burning Bed? Who was in that? Is that Farrah Fawcett? The Burning Bed where she had the husband and she jumped around them because she never knew when he was going to just like whoop her ass. And then she set, the, she set the fucking bed on fire while he was in it. Sometimes you got to handle some shit on, on your own, Divine Feminine. Okay. I mean, how else do you get out of a situation like that when, when you, you're years and years and years of being fucking beaten and raped? And it's like, you're like, well, damn, is God coming through? And so I'm like, God, like, you got to handle this shit yourself. You know what I mean? I gave you all the means to handle shit yourself. This is why 333, three, three, you guys keep waiting for me. How am I supposed to do anything? I'm a spirit. Damn it. <laughs> you know what I mean? God's like, I'm a spirit. How am I supposed to come down? I'm working through you guys. This is why I, I keep saying, I keep going back, 345. That that religious thing teaches people to look outside of themselves for what's already in them. And that's why it keeps people stuck. That's why I say it's a soul trap. You can't move forward. You're constantly waiting for an outside source to come and fix things for yourself. When God's like, I'm, I work through you. You may have to do some shit you're uncomfortable with. You know, you may have to expose some shit. You may have to actually take matters into your own hands. Sometimes it's some vigilante bullshit. God is not all just love and light, you guys. Okay. It's like that movie was a true story about a woman who couldn't get away from a toxic, fucking, tyrannical, piece of shit, sociopath, self-entitled, narcissistic husband. He beat her and raped her in front of her own kids repeatedly. She had fucking lumps in her face and black eyes and her head split open. How many, how long are you supposed to put up with that before you realize there's not a God that's coming down to help you? But they, I think she was religious and they went to church and she kept going to church and saying like, like, where are you? Like, he's like, I'm, I'm in you. You gotta do something. This is, this is the trap, I'm telling you, of church and religion and Christianity. Waiting for an outside force to come and help. When, when, and, it's, and it's like, you'll, you'll die. You'll die. And a lot of people have died thinking that, that God is a spirit, you guys. Four, five, six. He's a fucking spirit. And he's inside of you. 
I get really hyped up when I talk about it because I don't like but people die and, and, and kids get injured and stuff because somebody's not some, no one's handling the shit they need to be handling okay this is the kind of person who always feels like uh, uh, you don't love me because if you love me you know you reject this person if, 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 if this is the kind of dude where if they want to hang out right or they want something from you and you turn it down and say I can or I can't make it or I can't do that tonight you see this side of this bitch Okay, go show that side, motherfucker. Go show this side to the dude twice your size up the street. You'll, you'll see the pussy in him real quick. This is this kind of dude. Too many. These types of dudes are, are all over and they need to go bye-bye, like real quick. Five, five, five. They need to go bye-bye real quick. So, there could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, that turned them down. Or this could be their wife. Or a girlfriend or something. Or somebody could be rejecting them and not giving them money. Or have said, like, I can't. No, it's someone they're in a relationship with. There's a queen of pentacles. Somebody that I feel like is, be, is realizing now, like, this motherfucker only wanted me for what I could offer them. Ooh. They just flipped. So maybe the, the script is being flipped here. There's something that's being flipped. Somebody could have flipped a table or um, they could have flipped somebody here. But somebody feels rejected. I feel like either by a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or, you know, maybe they feel like somebody just don't have any emotion, and it's like they're used to people getting an emotional response. They're used to getting an emotional response out of people. Um, this bully got bullied by a female, too, is what I'm seeing here. But if this is somebody they're in a relationship with, uh, this person may be kind of t uh, holding back because they've seen too many sides of this dude. This could be actually a female that's being seen as a bully, you guys, Okay. Yeah, this could be a Gemini or, you know, or you could be a Gemini, but Gemini energy here. But this is definitely two people in a relationship. And somebody, there's a, a queen of pentacles in a relationship with somebody. And I feel like they're, they regret even being with this person. There's, I, I feel a lot of regret here. Yes, there's a lot of regret. Like I haven't moved forward since I've been with this person. I've gone backwards. I'm fucking broke. I don't look the same. I don't think the same about myself. And I think that this person, this bully, put his hands on this female. And he's like, no, there's a misunderstanding. Yeah. Pisces energy. I feel like someone is aware of who they're with now. It's like, okay. Uh, there could be a, a female here that is... Or somebody, because like I said, a bully, I've seen a lot of female bullies too who, who bully men. So I feel like there's somebody here who's enlightening themselves about this type of personality. They could be reading books or they could just be watching videos. They could have married this person or they were about to get married to this person. Hmm. They put a lot of work into this relationship, whatever this is, and I feel like they're realizing, like, um, for some of you, this could be your sister that's in a relationship with a bully. Yeah, somebody's no good. They're protecting themselves from this person because I feel like they know that this person is, like, uh, like, a uh, dirty, <laughs> dishonest, okay, if you want to be, uh, on the cleaner side of the vocal tip here, but start again. So somebody's just always like, let's start over, let's start over, and I feel like somebody else is like, I, I, I can't, I can't. I hope, I hope that there's somebody here who's focusing on themselves now. They're, they're definitely protecting themselves against this sneaky bastard here. Hmm. Somebody also knows what somebody's been doing for work. And, and it's, they're, they're a criminal. I feel like somebody lied and said they had a business or a job or that they go to work every day. And I feel like they've been going and they've been cheating. Every time that they say that they're going to work, they're going to somebody else's house. Whose house they go into? Look, and I, and I, 
this is a very dark, hateful, uh, oh, my way or the highway type energy here. Immature. Uh, likes to have breakup, makeup sex. So this is the kind of person who will force an argument. Okay. This five of swords in reverse with the page of wands. It's like, I feel like somebody likes to, to, uh, instigate arguments so that they can have makeup sex. This is somebody who just really gets off on having toxic relationships because that's all they know. That's all they know. Somebody's name could be Billy. This, is, this could be the kind of person, because his name is Billy Idol, uh, that wants women to idolize them. If this is a man, they, they want women to, to uh, be on their hands and knees and shit and be servants to them. <laughs> Bitch, those times are over, right? That's for, that's for women and their karmic energy. But I hope that these women are realizing their worth. I always do hope that they do, you know? And, and, and I don't ever judge anybody for what they're doing with a man or what they're allowing because I've done it. But don't try and destroy another woman over that shit. That shit will never work for you guys or even a dude in your karmic energy. It's like, I don't, I don't, we all made bad decisions, right? I just have a real big problem with people who pass the buck of their bad decisions on somebody else and then try to destroy somebody who's just trying to better their life. You guys need to sit down and shut up. Yeah, go into the back of the class where you belong. Turn against the wall. Put your dunce hat on. Nothing sure in this world. Someone's realizing, you know, this isn't a sure thing here. Somebody came off like, uh, like if this was a sure thing. Like I'm, I'll never let you go. I'll never cheat on you. I'll never lie to you. Yo, this is the kind of person who's like comes and sits in front of your face. I promise I'll never cheat. Like vows, vows. This possibly could be a married couple, and somebody realized they married an animal. They married a beast. I'll never, I'll never hurt you. I know that people have hurt you in the past, but I'll never hurt you, right? Like, before you even finish the honeymoon, it's like, they're putting their hands on you. They're getting rough with you in bed and shit like that. Who are you talking to? Who's on the phone? Get out of here with that. You can go on and get out of here with that. We don't do that anymore. Gangsta of love. <laughs> Somebody's name could be Maurice. Make up tales that harm others, right? Can you see that? They make up tales that harm others. So here we go with the shit talk again. Okay. <laughs> what up? Oh. Thank you, spirit guides. Lied to the police and lied in court. So this is a, just a straight up storyteller. I feel like somebody made up a whole fucking story. Got a story to tell? Wrote a story about it. Like to hear? Here you go. That kind of dude. Can't even remember their own story either. Reneging on their whole story. I feel like when I said in the beginning, somebody wants to... Oh, no, no, it was this. Somebody wants to retell like they forgot or some shit. And somebody's looking at somebody like... They're looking at them sideways. <laughs> that's an understatement, dog. That's an understatement. Who is this This shit-talking, storytelling? I just saw the chariot, so it could have been a cancer, or that's the police. A karmic cancer could be a fire sign or, or a water sign here that lied to the police, and they lied in court about some shit. Somebody wants to apologize for this? Yeah. Somebody's, somebody's going through some serious judgment right now, okay? And this judgment could even, like, be in court with the court. Somebody somebody tried to betray somebody by lying in court on them or saying, yeah, they did do this and shit, and it's coming out that they lied. That's jail time, ma'am or sir. People keep talking about me, baby. This could be the lawyer or the judge. With the King of Swords and the Judgment, I feel like... Let me see. Yeah, somebody wanted, want, wants, somebody wanted to come off as lovey-dovey, lovey-dovey, and then I feel like what happens is somebody could have lied in court about somebody being violent. They could have said it. If this was like a court case about 
child support or about somebody's kids getting taken away. Uh, first off, there's that hating ass fucking Capricorn again, okay? But somebody just really has a lot of hate in their heart and this isn't a Capricorn. I'm a smoker. I'm a midnight talker. So somebody could have lied for a person and said, no, this person's not violent. I never seen a violent side to them. It could be something as simple as that, but it could be something as serious as like, no, they had nothing to do with this murder. It could, it could you know, let's, let's dig. Let's dig. Somebody ain't looking too good for somebody here, you guys. I sure don't want to hurt no one. Didn't I just say somebody lied in court and said that somebody wasn't violent and that they'd never seen them do this shit? I never seen somebody scream and I never seen somebody no nobody ever threatened to knock someone's teeth down their throat. Nobody ever uh, uh would pull a blade or or put their hands on somebody or put their hands around somebody's neck. No way. Somebody lied about this. Somebody protected a piece of shit narcissist here. I promise you guys, it'll never go well for you. You will lose things. Your life will be uh torn to shreds. When you, when you protect uh, a sociopath. Hierophant. Somebody lied in court. There could be a Taurus that caused this tower moment, right? Or somebody tried to cause a tower moment for a fucking Taurus. Or this is God just coming in and going, sit. How many times I got to tell you you're grounded? You going to stay grounded. Stop trying to avoid this shit. Yeah, somebody tried. Ooh, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. They could be married to uh, uh, a Scorpio. Look, there's Scorpio energy again. There's some. There, there. Remember how I just said this could even be someone saying, "No, they don't." I never seen a violent side to them. Two. No, this person didn't have nothing to do with this murder. I feel like there was a lot of lies told in whatever this thing is that happened in court. Heavy Scorpio energy right here, though. There could be um, a Taurus causing a tower moment for a Scorpio here. Uh, if not, this person could be married to a Scorpio and somebody's trying to uh, lie. They could be like the karmic female, which is why that Queen of Wands showed up before. That could be saying, no, I don't feel like he's, he's dangerous to his kids. Shh. Shit. Storyteller. Storyteller lied in court and lied to, to the police. I mean, I mean, shit. There could be like a, a Scorpio that's protecting themselves against this person or this was someone who got a protection order. So somebody could have lied and said that they needed a protection order against you, empath. I do see a Scorpio getting a protection order against somebody too though. Going to court for a protection order. Yeah, somebody they're in a relationship with. You could be dealing with a Gemini. A Scorpio could be getting a protection order against a Gemini. Uh, but if it's not a Gemini, then this is somebody that they were in a relationship with. And they're like, you know, I, I don't trust you. You're too violent. You're a bully. You put your hands on me too many times now. Are you going to put your hands on our kids too? King of Wands, Queen of Wands, yo. This is that karmic couple, you guys. I feel like they both lied in court, and that's why these came out after the lovers. This is a karmic couple here, no doubt. And what's this? Yes. So a karmic couple, yes, lied in court. They both lied. They could have lied and said that a, a Taurus had something to do with the death of somebody. You lying sacks of shit. Somebody was trying to set somebody else up here for murder, too, and it's out. I feel like this trial has been going on for a little while. Some of you may not even realize this was even happening. Some of you may not even have realized that somebody was trying to set you up to make it look like you did some dirty shit that they did. Some of you didn't even get called by the court or some of these people had your mail sent somewhere else so that you couldn't even get these documents or something that you needed to, to find. Some of you may even have, have been seen as not showing up for something legal and it's because these people manipulated some shit with mail so that you couldn't get it so that they can get you caught up. It's all coming out. It's all coming out. People are just so fucking dirty, you guys. You deserve everything that you're getting. And if that's the ground, then that's where you deserve to be when you do some shit like this. This is a dirty couple here. Somebody also showed up as somebody else in court and dressed like them because they needed to wear a mask. They could have had somebody's license or ID with them. And they showed up as this person. This is how fucking far these people will go. Paimon. P-A-I-M-O-N. 
Yeah, I feel like, I, mean, I don't know if it was a dude showing up as a chicken cord. I don't know how far that shit can go. But I do feel like somebody showed up as somebody else because they were so uh, desperate because somebody was exposing the truth. So they went in as somebody else in court. Beware of unfavorable, unfavorable first impressions. Many intelligent and knowledgeable individuals are awkward or abrasive at first as a defense mechanism. One should watch for those actions within oneself, okay? So for some of us, this is us, okay? Defensive. Abrasive. I don't know. I could be. I don't really know, but let's find out. Let's find out who this is for. Maybe somebody uh, made a very bad first impression with you. Or, the, or you're about to come into contact and the universe is trying to say, like, however this person comes off. It means this is the universe saying this. When somebody shows you who they are, believe that shit. Who is this? Tell me about this. Can you... Oh. Could be a Virgo. But if not, somebody's realizing that somebody is like... This comes out a lot, man, with the Nine of Swords and, and the Hermit card. That somebody's embarrassed and humiliated. And I feel like it's because it's, it's out that they lied in court. And I don't feel like they had any money to run if they wanted to. Because that's how God gets down. They probably spent all their money trying to set you up or doing spell work or paying for witchcraft and shit. And they can't even afford to flee. They're stuck. Somebody also lost a lot of money betting. They tried to get rich quick with betting. When you have dark energy on you, my dear, because if you're watching, when you're a dark person, you have to do everything through manipulation because the universe just don't roll with you like that. <laughs> okay? <laughs> everything has to be done through manipulation. You guys don't win at casinos. You don't win betting. No, everything has to be done through criminal shit because you have such dark energy because that's what you put out that the universe is not going to support that shit on the legit tip. Yeah, somebody was doing some kind of work, okay? Or this could even be somebody being accused of uh, uh, stealing from their job or commit... Oh, okay, so somebody also lied about having a business from home. Yeah, okay. Somebody lied about saying that they have a business and they could have created this business and documents and paperwork and shit to try to get the unemployment or the PP... What is it, PPP loans? Yeah. Why is this eight... Uh, I feel like this person doesn't work. It's like walking away from the Seven of Pentacles. Like they, they're walking away from investing. I think if somebody was like, um, hold on. If somebody was investing in a business or wanted to go in partners with this person, I feel like they're like, no, nah, I can't. Yeah, somebody is being guided. Being guided to walk away and not invest in this person. It's like somebody like, well, I want to invest in a business and we're going to do this, that, or the other. And I think people are understand. They're being told like this person lied in court. Uh, they purged themselves. They set up and told a whole story, and they got other people involved. And the people like, I can't, I can't even do business with you, bro. Or if this is a female, right? Somebody was also guided to walk away from having an, uh, a relationship with this person, but I feel like they didn't listen. Somebody didn't listen. They were like, no, no. I mean, there's a good side in this person too. It's like, what's their good side? What is their good side? I can't even just jokingly come up with one. So it must be really difficult for somebody to come up with someone's good side. This is a really dark, uh, demonic energy I'm picking up on. Yeah, somebody was told to put an end. Look, this is how this came out. Somebody was told, was guided, right, to put an end to this fucking partnership because this person's going to bring you down. It's going to be the death of you, I just heard. And somebody didn't listen. You may have told this person, because it's almost like they knew, right? Somebody knew. Yeah, Empress, I feel like you may have actually said something to either this dude or this chick. Like, you know, I, I would advise you, uh, and this person was like, no, it's because this person's jealous, you know? Yeah, somebody was playing both sides. So this is definitely divine feminine energy with the Empress and the Queen of Cups. And I feel like somebody was kind of on the fence. I feel like you may have said some shit, you know? But somebody was like, no... No, so I'll marry them. Free ride. Come on and take a free ride. Somebody was like, yeah, I'm going to marry this broad and tell them everything they want to hear uh, so I can get a free ride. Somebody's trying to get a free ride, too. I don't know if somebody's trying to, uh, they're, they're riding on somebody else to maybe get a sentence lessened. 
Somebody wanted a free ride in life too, though. There's a masculine energy opportunist who just wanted to live for free. They always they manipulate women and they'll sleep with different women and even their they'll they'll even manipulate their own aunts, their grandmothers. They steal from their grandmother. They're just a piece of fucking shit. They don't ever want to work. They just want a free ride on this planet. Yeah. And they cause a lot of problems uh, in family dynamics and their friend group. They're always the starter of trouble. It's like this person's always the center of every time there's an argument or a disagreement or a dispute, this person. Yeah. Somebody wants this Ace of Pentacles, right? This is the way this person's been living in this lifetime, but they don't have a job. That's why the, the Seven of Pentacles is like they walk away from work. <laughs> they don't want to work. They want women to take care, or even if this is a female, um, they, they pick men who can take care of them. They don't know anything. They don't learn anything. They don't know themselves. They, they, they are exactly who they think that the person that they're trying to get the free ride from wants them to be. 25 minutes. Let's get a spiritual spot card, you guys. What do I do with them right here? Whew. Free ride, what you guys? These nuts. <laughs> All right, so shit you don't have time for. We've gotten this one. Haven't got time for the pain. All right, you're laughing at the shit. I feel like you guys sit back and just laugh at it. You know, I felt like you guys just sit back and you're like, <laughs> man, I told you. But when I told you about this person or I told you how this was going to turn out because maybe like the most higher the universe was giving me these downloads to share with you guys, you thought that I was crazy and shit. Who's crazy now? Uh, uh. Uh. I want to see something else here, you guys. Mm -hmm. For some of you, this could be a brother of yours that's going through this shit. Cancer. Cancer, uncle. So there could be a cancer, an uncle who's a cancer of yours, or there could be a cancel, a cancel. Oh shit, somebody's canceled. A cancer working with an uncle. Yo, you listen to this? Talking heads. Life. This ain't no fooling around. Empath. Some of you are a cancer or an empath and an empath or there's a cancer who tried to copycat. There's a, either you're the cancer that someone tried to copycat or there's a cancer who tried to copycat you, empath, and people are seeing now this chick is dark or it's a dude. More time. I ain't got time for that now. Send a message to the receiver. don't even know my real name this is somebody who's taken on the identity of so many people copycat that goes with the copycat thank you spirit guides the copycat card i just came out don't even know my real name right somebody don't even know who the fuck they are divine feminine divine masculine because somebody tried copying and mimicking you so much and it's like so what kind of flavor uh ice cream do you like i don't know i gotta go find out what divine masculine divine feminine likes i don't even know Somebody thought they were going to have a brand new relationship and it was going to be all lovey-dovey and see the rainbow here. Ah, right? That somebody thought that's what they were going to have. For some of you, this is what you're about to have. Yeah. Somebody could be coming towards you saying that, like, I want to start over, you know, uh, because they know that it didn't work out with this past person. Yeah, somebody's moving on from somebody. Somebody left, they rolled. The number six, eight, or one could be relevant. Somebody was like, look, I can't do this anymore. Like, I, I just, somebody just wants genuine love here, but I feel like 
they're not fixed they're not healed yet so be careful if somebody's trying to come back because something else didn't work out and they're just like well you know this person was always solid this person was always honest right right this is your lesson bitch no don't come back here with that tainted shit that toxic shit yeah you're like i ain't got time for that now yep who is this who is this? Somebody wants to come towards you and, like, make things right with you, but it's like you're moving on. You're just like, nah, I can't. Like, I can't keep going back and forth with this. They know this, too. Now now that you're moving on, right? Yeah, you're probably single. A lot of you are like, I just want 